turning 26. Does it suck? It sucks since you're closer to your grave. It sucks since it's been 26 years of your life and you have no idea what you're doing. But does it actually suck? From personal experience, since I am a 26 year old today, I can tell you that it doesn't suck. Yes, I haven't fulfilled all my goals or dreams, whatever you call them, but I certainly am today a very happy 26 year old. That's all, folks. But how? But how do you define happiness? If you ask me, I wouldn't know either, because for every one of us, the definition of happiness is just like a blank piece of paper. It's up to you to define what happiness is for you. But there are some things that you can do that can help you get closer to that definition of happiness. And one of them is keeping your mind at peace. Yeah, peace, to, to me, peace is happiness at rest. And happiness is kind of peace in motion. You can convert peace to happiness anytime you want. But peace is what you want most of the time. That's interesting. You can convert peace to happiness anytime you want. Yeah, if you're a peaceful person, anything you do will be a happy activity. The way we think you get peace is by resolving all your external problems, but there's unlimited external problems. So the only way to actually get peace is on the inside by giving up this idea of problems. Who thinks you can get peace by resolving external problems other than politicians? Everybody. That's really? what everybody's struggling to yeah. do, right? Why are you trying to make money? To solve all your money problems. Mm. Why are you trying to win at politics? Because then you'll be at peace because your people will have won. Whew. It's a daunting task to get your shit together. It's easier to change yourself than to change the world. That's true. Yeah. And the best way to change the world is to change yourself. Exactly. It's all, yeah, it's, all these people who are shouting on social media, the best way is just to actually live the life that you want other people to live. When your mind is at peace and you're calm, it's really easy for you to find your own definition of happiness. But then you might question, why be happy? Honestly speaking, I don't know why be happy, but I can tell you that being happy or being at peace will definitely help you navigate life much easier than anything else. It's like a superpower that you can harness. You don't need much to be happy, but you can have a lot and still be unhappy. The last year of my life has probably been my best year. I'm happier, I'm healthier, and I almost enjoy every single day. And I'm not saying I don't have bad days, everyone has them, but my life philosophies have helped me deal with my bad days better and they don't end up hurting me in the long term. And at the core of my life philosophies, the core of my mindset has been trying to live the simple life and keeping my mind at peace. And I don't know if it helps you out or not, but it is something that has benefited me in so many ways, like trying to simplify everything I do, trying to keep my mind at peace is something that has boosted every sector of my life. So if you're watching this and if you are having a hard time in life, maybe try giving this philosophy of life a chance. Maybe try to live a simpler life. You don't need to complicate things. And if you need advice, contact me anytime. I would love to help you out because this change in my life has changed my life, honestly speaking. And I'm feeling great today. At 26, I just feel that I have so much more to do in my life. And even if I don't get to live longer, I feel so happy right now. So maybe I have found something that's really helping me out. And I want to help you guys out too. So if you're watching this video, um, I hope you have a great day. And I hope you keep on watching the channel. And I hope you also live a simple life.